I'm going to show you a club that I guarantee will help you find fairways and it's the last club that you would ever think of picking up if you walked into a golf shop. Yet yeah, this video is not what I plan to make. And to be honest with you, when I first picked up this club this morning, I thought, you know what, Andy, you're going just too much down this route of the kind of a gimmick style video. And maybe it is, but I've already hit some golf balls with this club and I've got to say, I'm amazed, as is everybody else who's come and witness this along the way. It has been a real eye opener and you're gonna see some results that I think are gonna be quite shocking. It's like having a seven, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, but with a lot of Yeah, with that. Yeah. I think it's lofted at 15. Yeah. So, I mean, it's like... Well, that's... Like, everyone's a tuning. 194 carry, considering what is the best type and style of clubs for average golfers because i really do believe that we're making this game perhaps a little bit more difficult than it needs to be and there's plenty of help out there on the shelves that can make this life a little bit easier for us but this morning like i said i had a big big shock because i went and picked up a club that i'd not really seen before and i'd never take any notice of it pulled it out of the bag took a look at it and the big thing was length of shaft size of head it was a junior driver and it was from ping it's the ping prodigy driver now don't switch off seriously hang on a minute because i like you thought this was like i've said in the intro a bit of a gimmick but what i've just had a little bit of a look at first of all is a technology that is in the prodigy g driver head is essentially what you're going to find in the g410 so the latest technology the latest driver technology from ping it's then coupled with an extremely short shaft i don't know the length of the shaft but i will put it on the bottom for you now i will have found that information out and i took it into the bay i've already hit this ball i've already hit numbers because like i said at first thought is this too much of a gimmick then i started it in golf balls and thought no this is a video that people need to see so We've got essentially a G410, a 460 driver head. It's got turbulators and dragonfly technology and all them other things that you find in a G410. In a very, very short shaft, one which I have no idea the length. I think it's very similar to what you find in a sort of uh, seven iron, six iron length of shaft. That's how it feels. Let's get it and some balls on the camera. And I'll tell you and show you what the biggest surprise I've had since doing these videos is when I test out this Prodigy G driver from Ping. Now trust me, stick around because this is not a gimmick video. It started off, like I said, as possibly being one, but I learned a huge lesson here this morning with the testing that I've done. So we've got a 460cc head. We've got a short shaft. I've just picked out a seven iron. Like I said, I don't know the, uh, I'll throw down the number or I have done already in terms of length of shaft, but it's about an inch longer than what this seven iron is from Mizuno. And this thing is about, the test or what I did this morning was concentrate on one thing and one thing only, control. Can I find that target line, that center of the fairway? So I wasn't worried about how far this went. I was worried about what control I had. Could I drop the tempo of the swing, really look to find a nice rhythm and just concentrate on control? And that's the bit that shocked me massively because the answer is, before we see the numbers, before we see the spread, I can tell you that yes, I did. And that's the reason we're doing the video right now. If you look at some of the shots that I've um, are hit here that are just uh, playing over, you can probably see that the swing is slowed down considerably and it's all concentrating on tempo. It's still a full swing, but I very much, it's all about control. And I found that I could do exactly that with this shorter club. And I cannot believe that in recent weeks, yes, I've learned that from the videos that we did, that length of shaft was ultra important in terms of control. And we looked at hybrids, hybrid shafts in five woods and getting us that great control. And yet it definitely played a major part. But this is, this is taking it to the extremes. And I'm not suggesting that people go out and buy a Prodigy G driver, a junior driver. That's not the purpose of the video. The video is to take it to an extreme and prove to me as much as anybody else that control length of club shaft is mega important. 
And control is everything. We can't play from the rough. You can't play from out of bounds. You want to be in the middle of those fairways. So this kind of shortened shaft, our obsession that we have with distance, with drives, is incredible. That's all we want to do. And what's that meant? what that has meant is that every driver that is released by a manufacturer essentially has a 44-inch shaft in, uh, uh, attached to it. And that's incredibly difficult for us average golfers to control. And this takes it to the opposite extreme. And I cannot believe the confidence that this gives. I play the mini driver and I play it for the sort of the same reasons as this. But to put down a 460cc head that's got essentially the same tech as a G410 with a shaft length that is a little bit odd at first to get used to. But believe me, you'll overcome it when you hit a few golf balls. I can assure you it's confidence inspiring. And like I said, for me, just concentrating on tempo and I'll try and hit one on camera. I mean, I'm amazed at the results. I'm amazed at where that ball has gone. And I'm amazed at the control that I've got. I can't believe it. Even so much as this lightweight shaft, I've no particular issues with it, to be quite honest with you. I think if you do, the couple that I tried when I, when I tried to sort of step on it a little bit, give it a bit of a hoof, the lightweight shaft meant I lost a little bit of control in that sense. But obviously, that's not necessarily where you'd go with this. Like I said, the idea is... Could you be looking at your driver with a much shorter shaft in it to gain that greater control? And really, shouldn't manufacturers be looking at driver heads, but a lot, lot shorter in terms of uh, shaft length to give us that greater control? But the issue is, we don't want that. We're obsessed with distance. We don't want control. We want distance. And I think... <laughs> I mean, seriously, I really do wish you could see that ball because it is bullet straight right down the middle. I've had... People walk in here this morning laughing and then had a look at what I've done in terms of hitting the golf ball. And seriously, I think they're all amazed as well, as much as I am. And my bet is this, and I challenge you to do this. Most ping distributors have, been, have got a set of Prodigy G's as a demo set for kids to come in and try. Next time you go in, get over the embarrassment, ask can you have a go of the Prodigy G driver. Take it out in a driving range, try it against yours, and I'll bet you any money that this outperforms it in terms of control by a million miles. Seriously, you, I have no doubt that you will be as surprised as I am, as shocked as I am, what results you can get from that driver. And it's a massive lesson to be learned. But I'm going to hit one more ball because I love hitting this thing. We're going to have a look at numbers. I'll give you the big reveal in terms of what I hit, what I obtain in terms of distances, what numbers I got how tightly packed my dispersion was, and I'll give you an overall verdict. Let's see if we can give this one a bit of a whack. Mate, I swear to God, that ball, that ball is gone. I could gain that. Well, I've just been in a little bit of a coffee break and talked to the lads there, and I can honestly say it's the biggest, it, it's the most surprising video that I've done since I've started uh, YouTube. And honestly, that's how much surprise I've got in terms of this, uh, the control element. And let's get straight into, I don't know if, no, we won't start with numbers, let's start with dispersion, because ultimately that is what it's been all about. Have a look at this spread of numbers. And, you know, if I'm honest with you, I mean, I'm a little bit wayward. I'm an average golfer. And in terms of, I couldn't hit me seven iron as tightly grouped as what I've just done with that driver. A 15 degree driver, and I literally hit one after the other down the target line. Get your heads around that, if you will. But I will throw up the numbers next up for you. But just look at this, right? There's a real ratio between club head speed, and you can see where the sort of um, club head speed in relation to ball speed, that is. Look how consistent it is. Uh, on both elements, but ball speed at 125 on average, spinning at three and a half, 185 carry, 11 degree launch, I mean, a peak height of 57. It honestly did everything you'd want it to do in terms of the ultimate fairway finder. That's the only way I could describe it. In terms of the distance, if I can carry a sort of 190 carry and I can get Three and a half thousand spin, that's probably a 210 ball or in terms of running out on the fairways. In the height of summer, on most courses that I play and probably you play, 350 to 400 yard par fours, that is more than enough for average golfers, especially if it means that you're finding fairways and you're playing your second shot from the short stuff. Because I guarantee 
that most of us would benefit from playing from 200 yards on most par fours, having a second shot in at greens from that short grass, and I think it would make a massive difference to our scores. But like I said, the message is a quite simple one, I suppose. I apologise if this in any way came over as a gimmick video because I'm, I'm always conscious of doing what I would say gimmick video, something that's completely pointless. And reviewing a kid's club, a junior club, in, in, in the first instance, it's completely pointless. But the, it's not about the club, it's about the concept, the concept of control. And it went to the extreme to prove, to me anyway, that control is mega, mega important. And to get that greater control, the shorter the shaft the more control we've got. It's a very, very simple message. Anyway, as ever, thank you for watching. Comments down below, and I'll see you soon. I ain't standing here too long, because, uh, as you can probably see, it's flipping Baltic in the UK right now. But I enjoyed that video a lot, as you can probably tell. Right, see you soon.